Hello, I'm Commander Exegius, and today we'll be looking at the player group East India Gaming Company. This group's goal is to help the community break through the grind by offering rare and difficult to acquire commodities with an emphasis on positive role playing experiences all operated in open. Let's look at what they offer and how the process of placing an order with them works. East India Gaming offers rare commodities primarily for engineering and technology unlocks. These are modular terminals, bromolite, painite, Fujin tea, Kamitra cigars, Lavian brandy, Conga ale, Zine companions, Soontil relics, and meta alloys. They trade these commodities with players for the valuable cargo Imperial slaves. To date, they've traded nearly 50,000 tons with over 1,500 commanders without a single lost client. Now let's look at how the process works. You'll start by visiting their website. All the necessary links are in the description below. From the home page, scroll down and click Looking for Rare Goods, where you'll then select I Need Rare Goods to be shown the various goods available. You'll then click Set Up a Trade, where you'll find the specifics of how the process works and most importantly, a link to the Discord where the trade will be set up. Once you join the Discord, head to the Trading Post channel for the specifics of placing an order. You'll then post in the Trading Floor channel the appropriate order message. An example is on screen now. The format is simple. Your commander name, followed by trade, then the material and quantity you require, ending with the availability in UTC time. Your order will then be confirmed with a link detailing the trade sent to you by a direct message. Virtually all communication from this point forward will be handled by a direct message with members of the EIC team. Once your trader has sent you the time for your trade, you'll need to outfit your ship and acquire the necessary cargo based on the cost of your trade. You'll use either a medium ship such as the Python or Crate, or a large ship depending on the amount of cargo you'll need to bring. You'll also need to bring enough collector limpet controllers for at least four active limpets, with the more you bring the better. I'll include some builds in the description. Once your trade is set up, you'll be assigned a specific system for the meeting, so you'll want to pick up your Imperial slaves nearby. You can find the closest location with enough stock by using eddb.io, going to the Commodities tab, entering your current system, setting your pad size, and clicking Find Stations. When the trade is ready to take place, your trader will friend you in-game and add you to their wing. They require that you come alone as they will have escort ships on duty in the event any NPC or human pirates decide to drop in. However, you should always follow open safe practices by running a properly outfit shielded ship. Once in system, you'll drop in on your target's wing beacon and wait for any possible pirates to be dealt with first. Once all clear, the trade will begin. Once the trade starts, you'll be asked to drop your cargo in groups as instructed by your trader. Note that dropping more can result in explosion of the cargo, so follow the directions specifically. You'll be asked to abandon your cargo so it won't be marked as stolen. As they scoop up each batch with their collectors, you'll be instructed to drop more until you've paid your bill. They will then reciprocate by abandoning the cargo you've requested. At this time, you'll deploy your collector limpets and open your cargo hatch to require your booty. From order time to delivery, they require between 24 and 48 hours, with many trades happening faster. As such, you should plan your needs accordingly. I found the entire process from gathering my cargo and leaving with my purchase took around 30 minutes, depending on the commodity far faster than could be done otherwise. Add to this the wonderful role play added by the process, and it's something I can't recommend enough. Oh, and if you tell them Exegia sent you, they'll even take 10 tons of Imperial Slaves off the asking price. I hope next time you need to unlock an engineer or piece of technology, you'll give East India Gaming a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed by their professionalism or the time they will save you. Much like the Fuel Rats, they greatly enjoy their work with the hope of easing the grind intrinsic to Elite. They are also always recruiting for traders and combat escorts to join their ranks. I hope you'll share your experiences with them in the comments below. Once again, this has been Commander Exegius reminding you to fly dangerously and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that look at East India Gaming and need help lessening the grind, I hope you'll check out my other engineering related content and that you'll join me on my weekly live streams, Tutorial Tuesdays, and the Creators Roundtable each Friday, and that you'll consider supporting my efforts via Patreon.